Developing in northwest Harris County, a family escaped their burning home in the middle of the night, but now just days before Christmas, they're homeless. Channel 2's Taisha Walker spoke with the matriarch of the family, and Taisha's joining us live now tonight where this all happened. And Taisha, what is that mother telling you this evening? Christine, that mother of 12 tells me she is devastated. She actually moved inside of this home about three years ago to escape an abusive relationship. And now take a look at this. All of their possessions, either in the front yard or inside, charred and damaged. Firefighters tell us that the damage actually started here in the garage and then spread up to the attic. Site Fair firefighters were greeted by huge flames around 4 o'clock this morning. Firefighters say the fire started in the garage of the home here in the 6,000 block of Pinewood Trace Lane. Catherine Molise and her 11 children lived inside of the home. Their ages range from 2 months old to 23 years old. Molise says thankfully the family was awake when they smelled smoke and searched the home. When they got to the garage, they were greeted by huge flames and ran out of the house. Melise says her children made sure that everyone was accounted for. Instead of them panicking, they went straight to action, y'all. It wasn't no ifs, no buts. They went straight to action. Even though we lost everything, we got everybody out of this house. And no matter how hard it be on me sometimes by being a single mom, you be wanting to know if you're raising your kids right. And they fuss and they fight a lot, y'all. But I tell you, it made me so proud. Leftover fireworks inside of the garage caught on fire and woke up neighbors. All of a sudden, I heard like two big explosions. The flames had spread to the roof and other parts of the home before firefighters were able to knock it down. Molise says though they lost everything, at the same time, she still has a lot to be thankful for. I'm crying because we don't have nothing. And then we're not really from here. So I'm like, oh my God, what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? You know, then I said, I don't care. We just leave in the car because I got my kids out and they still are with me. Melise tells us that she is actually from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and doesn't have any relatives here, but is able to stay by a friend's house for the next couple of days until they could figure out whatever is next. She tells us that her kids literally lost everything, their clothing, their Christmas gifts, their school laptops, and they're starting from scratch. We have put their GoFundMe link on our website attached to this story. If you're in a position to help, they will greatly appreciate it. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2. Taisha, we hope they can have somehow a good Christmas and get back on their feet. Thanks so much.